G'day mate, and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. We're back for our definitive guide. We're in episode 12, and um, we've got a bunch of things I want to get done this episode. So, going from list, as you can see, we've got lots of flashy things on the map. Flashy things all indicate things that don't actually exist that the robot's been asked to put down, like filter inserters, which I don't automate, and modules, which we don't actually need, and they're going to flash forever. Um... There's also things like storage chests that they're slowly getting done, bit by bit. Uh, all these filter inserters, yeah. So, this episode, I want to do three things? Three and things? Four things? Three things. Four things. I don't know. Uh, we want to, one, we've got one type of robot up and running. I want to get the second type of robot up and running. So, we already have crafting. I have construction robots. We want to get logistics robots. At the same time... I think we want to unlock purple science, which requires advanced material processing, which is electric furnaces. They exactly the same as a steel furnace, except rather than having to feed them fuel, they just use power, okay? Uh, which will give us production science. At the same time, utility science pack requires low density structures, which are one of the components that need to go in the rocket to launch the rocket to finish the game, and utility science. So if I can get both those techs done in this episode, and we can get all the recipes set and make sure we have all the requirements. We can get the last two texts done this episode, along with the logistics robots. At the same time, power is at 20 of 30. And as I'm going to be turning on a lot more assemblers this episode, along with putting a lot more robots to work, we need to look at power. So with all that said, let's run the intro. So, with that out of the way, first thing I want to do is I want to find out where we're storing our robots down here. Uh, we'll make one of these by hand because, like I said, I don't actually automate them. Uh, put that there, set you to logistics robots. And as you can see, these need the ro flying robot frames that we're already putting into a box, which I'm going to cap to one stack because one stack seems like heaps. And advanced circuits. And luckily enough, I'm pretty sure we have advanced circuits like right here uh roboport right there right there right there and insert it there advanced circuits oh, look we conveniently have them right here and i'm just going to put in the undergrounds and have the bots put in all the straight belt for me and we need to put a splitter in right there and we're done that's it, automated. Uh, in fact, I'll even throw in the 100 I've got on me so we can get this process started. So that's gonna start giving us logistics robots. Logistics robots are cool. They do lots of things. They, Their job is to basically cover logistics. They move things from point A to point B. In saying that, I have a logistics tab now open. It's a new feature. I can say, you know what, bots? I always wanna have 100 belt on me. I will now always have 100 belt on me. The logistics bots uh, job is gonna be picking up belt, bringing it to me. Uh, as long as I'm standing inside the orange square. If you're standing outside the orange square, they're going to get really, really grumpy because they can't bring you stuff. And if you happen to wander from inside a square to outside a square, they're going to get really, really grumpy as well because they're going to fly halfway across the base for you to step outside and then they have to fly all the way back and put it back in storage. So we're also going to have... I'd love some underground belts. I'd love some splitters. I buy logistics bots. They're often getting things. So if we hover over this one, we can see it has no background because my request is filled. I want 100. I have 703. In the case of the underground belt, as you can see, I have 11 being delivered. They're on their way. And 89 in storage. Uh, splitters, one on the way and 105 in storage. Continuing on my list, I want yellow inserters. Definitely. Red inserters. Definitely. Uh, we'll have some blue inserters. Yep, why not? We'll also add to my list assembly machines. Uh, you know, with that, I'm also going to take some actual real power poles. We'll have some really big power poles as well. Uh, yep, we can see there are bots flying off all over the place trying to get this stuff done. Uh, these only take half a second to craft and they're limited by red circuits. Honestly, it's perfectly fine that they're limited. You do not need to make them go any faster because after you have a certain amount in the network, the network gets to critical mass and then you don't need any more. In fact, uh, so much so that we're also going to craft a bit of red wire. We're going to hook it up from this guy to this guy. We're going to have read robot statistics. I want available logistics bots being X. Uh, X equals 50. 
So if we hover this over here at the moment, it says zero because there's none available, but you might notice our construction bots is 212 or 212. Our construction bots are done. Everything that we've asked them to do that they can do, they have done. Uh, if we look at this, like these things are flashing, these things are flashing, it's like blue request chests. We don't have access to that te technology yet. Uh, what else? Uh, the filter inserts, which I intentionally don't build. Um, we will give the robots the objective of going to there and there and putting down some robo ports. Uh, we'll fill it in with more small power poles. I want another one. Oops. There. Another one there. Okay, so we've given the construction bots some stuff to do. Uh, we're getting power poles delivered at the same time. I don't really want small power poles anymore. So we're going to hold down control and we're going to click on that. And that's going to put them in our trash slots. Trash slots make the robots pick them up and take them away. I never need to see them again. Awesome. Uh, continuing on our list. So I'd like to have some basics on me. I'd really like to have some iron. And some copper. And some steel. And some green circuits. Oh. Gears. Green circuits. Red circuits. Uh, you might also notice they automatically add a stack. So it auto defaults to a stack of each item. A stack is going to be more than enough for most of your needs. I just want to have some basics on me for handcrafting. I'd love some pipe. I'd love some underground pipe. Uh, do I want underground pipe? Yeah, I want underground pipe. Uh, that'll do us for just now. They're all the things I can think of. Now, you can add more to this list, and you can uh, uh, add less to this list. So, this is an infinite list. You can have as many items on there as you want. On top of that, as you can see, I'm requesting 100 of infinite, okay? If I set this to 500, and I set the high, uh, the low side to 300, it says I want to have anywhere between 300 and 500 in my inventory at all times. I don't want to have more than 500. And if I click OK, it's now going to dump... All the excess belt I had in me to make sure that I have only 500 in stock. Um, as you remember, we made some poor man's requester chests. Let's turn that overlay off. And that means if we hover over there, there is 127 being delivered into that chest. So, voila. One more problem sorted. Okay. So, with that out of the way, we want to hook up basically all these things. Which should be fairly easy. We just need to bring the belts across and tie them in. So, let's start with... No. No, 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 no. There's one more thing I wanted. I want to have those. I want to have 50 of those on me because we need to do something about power. Uh, and the easiest way for me to do something about power is to stand here, handcraft the things that I need, and then blueprint it down and the bots take care of it. So we also want to do crafting. Uh, these things. I want... Uh, actually, no. First thing I want is I want my armor technically have some real batteries in it oh and the things that i requested these things are all red because they are not in the network the bots can't access them so what i want to do is i want to intentionally take a chest that i know is capped to one stack and i want to put some chests on the net oh well in the um bus to empty out just what i need into some chests and just have one stack in each chest so that's iron that's copper uh you be green circuits we put one of those there with a power pole like that uh, we want gears that's another one yep uh steel i mentioned steel where's steel steel's right there we can do steel right there uh did i manage to pick the one spot where you want to get power sheesh okay steel as well um what else? Red circuits. Red circuits we should be able to do right there. Blue circuits I don't have even blueprinted down. So that might take a moment. All right. So with that out of the way, um, yeah, we need to tag in all the rest of these items. So I want to get plastics. No, copper. Copper's first on the list. So we're going to move you. Oh, we've done the research already. So we have the ability to do all the other sciences. Uh, we're going to grab raw worker robot cargo size plus one. So it increases the number of items, logistics, and construction robots can carry at once. More importantly, it's mainly the key, the logistics robots. It means rather one bot carrying one belt, one bot can carry two belts, so on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to grab that research. Uh, put that there. We're going to put that there. We're going to drag a copper belt along. There's always a power pole on the way. Uh, where's copper go? Copper goes right here. 
So we're going to put that there. At the same time, I want to copy one of them and tag that in there. Bring that down, feed it in there, feed that one in there. This is going to be yellow science, this one's purple. So we're doing things a little bit backward, but we've got them both unlocked, so why not? Uh, we want to put plastic in this plane, which is that belt, I hope. Uh, nope, not that belt. Put it underground like so. Tag that. Uh, hang on. That shouldn't be there. That one. That one. That one. That one. Again, I'm going to have the robots do a lot of this construction. Just means I don't have to carry stuff on me. Uh, crafting. I wanted 10, 20, 30. Is that the right amount? I don't know. I lost count. And 10 of those to start with. 15 of those. Yeah, just start handcrafting all the things. All right. So that should be plastic. Uh, blue circuits we don't have. Next up, we have iron all the way over here. So... Mr. Belt. Uh, right. Copy those guys, drag them along. Move all the power poles that are always in the way. Oh, I don't have these power poles on me anymore. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, we need to put those in there. Cool. Uh, What's this iron? Iron is here. Okay, I've wanted outside range. We're going to keep our range nice and continuous. Put some power poles along. Uh, that one, that one, and that one. Put iron in there. Steel is this belt here. Yep. So again, just keep that outer tail, drag it down, plug it in there. Stone. Stone we left way, way, way back. Drag the stone belt up. Disc uh, deconstruct anything that I boo-booed along the way. Uh, stone is in this plane. So there. Ooh. Is that right? It is. Okay. Uh, stone. We want a few of those. They're going to go from there to there. Uh, that's wrong. Yeah, that's really wrong. Uh, that still seems wrong. That seems better. Yes. Uh, handcrafting status. Uh, I have 30 boilers. I now have 40 boilers. I have more steam engines, which we're going to... Uh, turns out I need another one, two, three, and another six. So I'll give them a second. Oh, and burner inserters. Uh, one, two, three for that lot. Okay, so that's that done. That's that done. That's stone. No, uh, that. That's more research. Um, what else can we do? We can grab power armor. That's going to be our next level of armor. At the same time, we're going to grab full of robot count because um, that was helpful. We can grab another one. It gives us another five robots. Another one gives us another 10 robots. We're also going to go for physical projectile damage, weapon shooting speed, definitely stronger explosive, definitely refined flammables. Uh, obviously, I should do something about actually getting the flamethrower fluid that I made ages ago brought up to me. So you know what? Uh, did I want to out of robot range? I did. I did, I did, I did. Uh, okay, not that type of power pole, that type of power pole. All right, uh, we're going to in here. Upgrade that. Put a RoboPort there, and I hope it's not in our way later. Go to our logistics and request in. Actually, we should already be requesting these in. We request in 200 ammo. Also request in flamethrower fluid. Now, one thing that we haven't done yet 
Uh, it's in our big book of science, science upgrade planner. So our science upgrade planner upgrades everything to red belt and faster inserters. We don't want that yet. We want upgrade to the logistics network. And I should be able to drag this over all of our science builds. And as you can see, every steel chest that we've built should be upgraded automatically. You're meant to be gone. Uh, should be upgraded automatically to a passive provider. So we can actually have the robots pull out of these chests our ammo, our walls, our grenades, deliver our ammo, our walls, our grenades, our electric furnaces, our productivity modules when we get that far. Uh, what else? Our robot frames. Should we want robot frames delivered? Um, should be able to deliver all the nice things to us. Okay, so with those done, those done. Uh, what I want? I wanted five, six of those. Can I just put down a chest? Yes. Let's just, well, we'll do that in a second. Okay, uh, where were we? Advanced circuits. Advanced circuits into the next build, which is that tile there. That's awkward. Uh... Okay, I don't know why you had a zigzag in you, but like you definitely don't need a zigzag. So I'm gonna bring that one into there. We then have green circuits going into this one, which is that belt. Uh, no, it's only, hang on, right. It's only three tiles high, so that's green circuits, which I, again, I've left behind. Uh, Throw down the belts. There to there. Uh, grab a straight belt because I need you to bring gears forward because I'm guaranteed I'm going to need gears for something. We have another shot of a uh, red circuits in here. Uh, uh, and then we have you meant to be in the underground. We have steel again, along with bricks. Uh, steel and bricks. Where the hell did I leave the brick? All the way up there. Uh, okay. Um, bricks, which are here. I hope that was right. It is good. Uh, we're going to go underground through there, two tiles, underground, under, underground, and underground, I think that lines up. Uh, tile of that in there. Alright, so, we should have unlocked train tracks, excellent. We should have unlocked purple science. Purple science requires train tracks, electronic circuits, and productivity modules, if we set those in there. So we already have the train tracks. The train tracks are fairly self-explanatory. You put trains on them, who would have thought it? Uh, then we have productivity modules. Productivity modules. Um, have an, they're modules you can put in the assemblers. So if we look at these two things here, they're module slots, okay? We can put them in assemblers, chemical plants, refineries, all sorts of things. So as we can see, uh, they have an energy consumption of plus 40%. That sucks. They have a speed of minus 15%, so it slows the machine down. Again, that sucks. It has a productivity of plus 4%. That's the good part. And it has a pollution of 5%, okay? So what actually means is we're gonna consume more energy, the machine's gonna run slower, but we're gonna get bonus stuff out of it for the cost of power. Now, if we had power, that'd be all right. Currently, we don't really have power. Uh, so what I wanna do is I want to... <sighs> 10, 20, 31, so that's 25, I want to craft those, we're going to put in that chest those, and I'm going to put in those, and I'm going to put in those, and I'm going to mark that for deconstruction so the robots can go and fix this at the same time, nope, that blueprint. At the same time, I want them, nope, third time's a charm. I want them to build another one off the same belt. No, you know what? We've got the room. We're gonna put one, one there and wait, can I fit one up against it? No, okay, 
So that Roboport goes away. Roboport actually goes there instead. Then, if I put one there and I put one there. So I literally want one right there, flip you twice, put one right up against it. And then, yep, all the belts are going the right way. So then I just need two pumps. Uh, no, we'll put a pump there and a pump there. Underground pipe, underground pipe. So if I hold down shift, I can blue blueprint things remotely. And that's what I'm taking advantage of right now. We're going to blueprint all this in. So essentially the robots can build all the bits that the robots can build. Uh, obviously they're going to rely on me to handcraft the parts that are not automated. But that's fine. I don't mind handcrafting bits and pieces rather than automating automating boilers and 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 um steam engines because you just don't use that many of them okay you're gonna need 50 or 60 or 100 to start with but that's it and once they're done you don't need another 150 sitting in the box doing nothing uh so with that out of the way i need one more of those how to get one or more of those. You find one of those and you say, Upgrade Planner. Okay, so I want one more of those. We're also going to want a lot more of those, which require iron plates. The good news is I happen to have a secret stash of iron plate on the bus. So we're going to press the F button and just pick up just a tiny bit of iron plate. Sure. Okay, 500 gears is maybe a bit excessive. Oh, how do we feel about our gear supply now? Uh, way better than our pipe supply. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so that'll get some stuff handcrafted like i said i have no issue handcrafting stuff um just to get things up and running uh, okay so what we're doing we were coming over here and we talked about uh, modules now we're going to talk about electric uh electric furnaces as i covered they are basically your steel furnaces except they don't require fuel they just require electricity so cash 22 uh they require steel which is not really arriving at the end of the end of the the, the bus okay so then we have the utility science pack. So utility science pack require process units, which we haven't covered. We're going to do that in a minute. Plus the flying robot frames that we did earlier and the low density structures. So we're going to copy and paste those recipes down. At the same time, we come over to here and we set you guys to low density structures. Low density structures are a boring item. They don't do anything special, but they do go into the rocket and make you let you build a rocket, which gets you off the planet. Um, they require a crap ton of copper, with a little bit of steel and a tiny bit of plastic, okay? Um, they're just slow to craft, honestly. Uh, we did make a personal battery, and I do want to make another personal battery at the end of my very long crafting queue. Uh, so that just leaves my complete lack of steel, which I can't do anything about till we fix power. Power's holding out, just. Uh, that's half built. Uh, they're not built, so I need to have two of those. I also need to go into my ledges and trash all those, so they go into the network. I also want to craft all 40 of those. Uh, okay, so, um, blue circuits. These ones. Uh, so, Jetty's table blueprints of processing units. We're going to just drag this down a few copies and pastes. And the robots will come over and rescue us and come get it built. Now, processing units, uh, if I find the, the, the thingy, it is 20 electronic circuits, 2 advanced circuits, and 5 sulfuric acid. And they take 10 seconds to craft. They're really slow to craft. Really, really slow to craft. Uh, we can see this is our input belt, which is going to be our red circuits. Uh, do do Plum our red circuits. That's so not right. 
Apply my red circuits in there. Your red circuits are going to come down here. They'll get these things built. At the same time, our acid pipe, because this all needs acid, needs to go over to where our acid pipe was left, which is here somewhere. So we just want to go below the builds. And we're just going to run this straight across and hook it into the existing acid pipe that's over there. Uh, with a bit of straight pipe. I have no straight pipe. Uh, I can see straight pipe. That'll do me. Alright, so we'll leave a robot to go and do the one bit of pipe. So, going back to this blueprint. It says... Uh, it can support 60 total assemblers before exhausting all the green chip lines and output through three blue chips per second. So, this is an input, and 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 this is an input. First things first, red circuits. Guess what? We only need half a belt. Half a belt's going to be overkill enough, all right? And power poles, turns out it would be really helpful if you guys actually got powered up. So... First off, we have half a belt of red circuits, because that's heaps. They only use two per craft, whereas the green circuits, they use 20. As you might notice, I have two belts of green circuits in and another two belts of green circuits in. The problem is we designed our bus in our infinite wisdom with just three belts. So getting that many in is going to be a problem. So consequently, I'm going to save ourselves some resources, delete that belt, delete that belt, at the same time, we'll get a deconstruction planner. I'll right click on it so I can filter it. I'm going to say longhand inserters, and then I'm going to get rid of every longhand inserter on that side of the build and every longhand inserter on that side of the build because that far belt has gone. And then I can delete that and never see it again. So we need to get green circuits in here and here, which means a splitter. One there. Drag the belt down. Well, that missed. Bots, deal with it. That's the other great thing about robots. When you make a boo-boo and crap ends up in your inventory, bots just deal with it. Give me that tree and that tree. Uh, we're going to put that there. Underground that to there, that to there. I'm going to say, right, copy, paste, 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 and paste. Okay, so that should get green circuits running into the blue circuits, which should get our blue circuits out eventually after they find acid. We're still waiting. Nope, we've got a bot that's done that. Uh, after the bot's finished putting in all the other pipes. Same time, we do want to trash those and trash those. I can hold down right click and I can hold down control and left click on them and they just disappear off to our trash slots. And then some logistics bot will come pick them up. They'll take them to storage. Once they get to storage, or actually maybe even a construction bot will pick them up because we have construction dust. No, likelihood is they're going to go to track uh, to storage being our warehouse district. And then once they get there, then they'll get picked up and actually placed down. And in fact, that looks to be very built. Uh, it needs a power pole. It needs the two pumps. And then it needs a fuel input. Uh, power is maxed, maxed. Great. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to drag this belt up. Now, we do remember on our bus, we have all these lovely materials that we're bringing here, there, and everywhere. Uh, batteries, which I've left all the way back here. But right here, I need a blue circuit input. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the lanes we're no longer using. If you remember some time ago in a distant, in a distant galaxy, far, far away, we chose to put that there and put that there. We chose not to bring coal, coal, any further along the bus. Uh, okay, you don't, you don't. All right, coal we left right the way back there, which technically frees up one whole lane right above steel. And that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna put in a splitter there and put, of course you line straight up. Can I do anything about that? We're going to have you come up, kink out to the side one. Nope, that's still not going to work. Um, I 
Whatever, we'll just do it this way. Uh, we're going to have that. Oh, no, that, that's fine. It comes in the middle of the steel line. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to put our splitter in. I'm going to have to wrap this down and into the, its bus line. And down and into its bus line. Okay, I'm not happy with that. I want to move you. I'm going to put that there. We're going to clear off that. I'm going to put that there. We're then going to run that belt that way. And oops. Face that that way. We're then going to put that in there. And that in there. It looks a little bit tidier. Not really, but a little bit. I'd be happy, happier if that was one more belt left. Right undergrounds. So I'm gonna left click to bring up the dialogue of everything that's on there. I'm then gonna pick a red belt. I'm gonna put it there and there, which then means I can bring this up, take this across, take that into there. Okay, great. And then eventually the robots will come put in the red belt. Anyway, we're gonna bring this this way because this needs to go back to yellow science, which is right there uh, i don't need to continue it down the bus because it doesn't need to go into the workshop because the workshop doesn't actually use blue circuits at all but if i plug that in there that should be everything required to get you up and running uh, are we we're, are we producing those no where are our modules going? Oh, they're just going in and filling up a box still. Okay. So, unfortunately, the base is cocked it because power is okay, but I don't have any steel. We'd love to do something about steel, but I can't do anything about steel just at the moment because I just don't have any steel. All right. We're going to drag those belts along to there. We're going to remove that. We're going to remove that. We're going to grab no, four belts. Let's grab all four. We're going to drag that belt along the bus to there. We're going to grab iron and put in your splitters. Output probably right, copy, paste, put, delete, delete. Put in your belt so we can bring you up to the end of the bus as well. Um, all right, so bus is pretty much done. Yellow science is pretty much done. We will drag yellow and purple science back with us. So they need to come down to... <sighs> they need to come... They're not going to go through there. They need to go through there with a red belt. Through there with a red belt. Uh, you just need to accept that, like I said, it doesn't matter how well you plan your factory, there are going to be definitely things that are going to get in your way. Red Circuits is the number one candidate because the build is massive. All right, we're going to flip that that way. We're going to pick up those science packs to make sure they go back on the right side of the belt by just putting them back into our assembly machine so the inserters can play their magic play their magic tune and throw them back out at us. Uh, we're going to bring this belt along. Hopefully the belts will, the bots, the belts and the bots will have put in the two red undergrounds that I don't have on me. But if we plug that in there and that in there, that should give us the last two science packs. We are short on chemical science, which is just running at flat out speed. So the other thing I want to do, last thing I want to do before the episode is done, is definitely want to put a personal battery in here. Uh, is I want to, no, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. I want to bring this solid fuel up to those power plants. So we're going to put in a splitter like that. Bring you up, bring you straight across. Uh, okay, up through the lake. So we're going to go this way, go that way. We're going to go fishing with a deconstruction planner. Whoops, don't pull up those. Just grab the fish. Grab the fish, robots. Grab the fish. Uh, bring that up through those lakes. That way it's really out of the way. Now, I don't really want to damage the crash site. So we're going to weave the belt through the crash site. Uh... And that's the bullseye I got to hit. Is 
is not the way. Uh, that can go away. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. Matter of interest? No? No, you can't deconstruct a crash site? Well, there you go. Alright, so that should give us solid fuel. Solid fuel is going to come up. It's going to run all these guys. They all have their inserters. They all have their power poles. Everybody looks hunky dory. Uh, our power is maxed out well and truly. And over a 10 minute graph, it's 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 peaked. Most of the time it's peaked. Uh, we can do 72 megawatts and occasionally it's up to 80. But with these guys kicking in, we should have plenty of access. So with that done, that's power done. That's the last of science packs unlocked. Everything should be running. Next thing we need to worry about is steel, which I didn't get to this episode. But hopefully we'll get to in the next episode. Uh, that belt is officially dead. So I can have the robots remove everything there. And everything there. Uh, we can see that this mining outpost is suffering. It could actually do with a split up right there to balance the two lanes together. Uh, so they both had a shot. Uh, at the same time... This is almost dead, so let's just do a... Anything with a red light on it can go away. Uh... That one's got a yellow light, so it means he can't output, but he still has ore underneath him. Uh... Red light, red light, red light. I really like the new graphics with the red lights. That makes life so much easier. Uh... I used to, nine times out of ten, just wait for the the whole patch to be done. And there'd be nothing left. And then I'd just come in and clear up. Uh, but having little red lights there has made such a difference. Alright, so with that done, we've got a bus. Our bus is doing great. Our bus is not defended at all on the right-hand side. If we look at a pollution overlay, it's probably going to start causing us problems over here. But there are later problems for later episodes of JD Madness. Uh, we need a radar right about here so we can see what's going on. Which means I'm definitely going to put one of those in the trash lot and definitely handcraft a few more just so we've got some spares i have some solid fuel which we're going to have wandered away from the boilers uh we're going to dump into you um yeah next episode we need to do something about steel i need steel to be going way faster um a lot faster at the same time i don't know um we're doing military research just at the moment for a just in case scenario um we were behind the tech First the aliens, then we caught up with them, and now we're hopefully, hopefully they haven't evolved too much that they're going to become too much of an issue. But then again, none of our walls have been damaged, even though they are getting occasional pokes. So hopefully we're still teched above them. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, because they've obviously been absorbing pollution here and here for a significant amount of time that's going to cause them to evolve but all, all problems for future episodes um yeah there is not a lot of starting patch or left at all so yeah with that said i'm going to call the episode here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed do hope you've learned something along the way uh by all means i have no reason to plug my discord this particular episode but i'm going to plug it anyway if you have any comments any suggestions anything you want to chat to me you know about and tell me how i did it wrong by all means jump on my discord that's the best way to get hold of me personally um because i'm on discord way more often than anything else um also youtube comments are <sighs> The commenting system, the replying system for content creators is far from a good, good yeah, far from a a, a, um, a useful interface. Yeah, let's let's go with those words. Uh, we're going to do that so it uses both sides of the belt. So hopefully we can get this mined out quicker. Um, yeah, next episode we'll do something about steel and who knows what else. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Um, oh. Comments. I've been reading lots of the comments. Um, you guys are wonderful. I appreciate all the lovely things you've said about the series. And I highly recommend you share the series with all your friends. That's about it. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we continue. But like we've got all the sciences unlocked. Like from here, it's a rocket silo. Rocket silo. Uh rocket silo is not that much research away. Um, yeah, we could make a beeline for a rocket solo, get off the planet before the biters even become an issue. But we're not going to do that. We're going to play with the biters and, you know, teach them a lesson too. All right. Well, all that said, I'm definitely done now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.
Bye.